Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Mando Destro 777, and we're back inside of Destiny here with your weekly reset video for Tuesday, January 31st, 2017. We're going to be covering all the endgame content that you can do this week in Destiny, so stay tuned. We'll cover everything that you need to know this week. You can see I'm hanging out in the pools here in Venus because the nightfall this week is going to be the uh, Winter's Lair uh, Nightfall. The modifiers this week are going to feature Berserk, where minions of the darkness won't flinch even after massive damage, Small Arms, where primary weapon damage is favored, Chaff, where player radar is disabled, and Match Game. Enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. Of course, I'll make sure that I put up a solo Nightfall video for you, but that is this week's Nightfall. Let's go out to orbit and see what else there is to do this week in Destiny. As I talked about, the Nightfall is going to net you a unknown reward as well as a skeleton key because small arms is on. You're obviously going to want to make sure that you have your favorite primary weapon for PvE. I'm definitely going to be bringing my Cryptic Dragon or if you have a Hung Jury that has Firefly, Triple Tap, all those other things, you're going to want to make sure that you have those on. Um, I would definitely have a Sniper with uh, with some different burns. I would probably have two or three to Snipers just so you can take those into uh, the Strike just because Match Game is on. That will help you knock out more of their shields which will be great. We have the Siva Crisis Heroics of this week. We've got Small Arms, Chaff, and Airborne. That will net you Treasures of the Dawning Packages plus Legendary Marks. Small Arms is, again, going to be really nice for that. Uh, Chaff, essentially, is just going to make sure that you have no radar. Uh, and Airborne is going to be on there. So if you've got some hand cannons that you like, Small Arms and uh, Airborne works pretty well. If you're using a hand cannon, works pretty well because the accuracy on the hand cannon doesn't get lost. So you can jump up in the air and do a little bit more damage but that is actually pretty farmable this week because of small arms being on next up we've got the scour the hive fortress for a chamber where the speaker believes a dark ritual is silencing the traveler that's the chamber of night uh it's not strike but mission we've got here for the daily heroic story for the competitive multiplayer for the day we've got rift and for this week, we've got Mayhem Clash. It is time to farm those competitive multiplayers here for lots and lots and lots of uh, PvP uh, PvP packages. I would definitely look into doing that. And we've also got Inferno Rumble, but I love Mayhem Clash. Really looking forward to that this week. We'll probably hit that up a ton because Mayhem Clash is a lot of fun because uh, basically you have increased uh, ability recharge rates, faster special and heavy uh, ammo spawns, no respawn delay, uh, so you can farm PvP packages really well. Make sure you pop a Crucible booster and then hop into there. Again, that'll net you the Radiant Treasure Package this week. Let's go over to the Reef and talk about what's going on over in the Prison of Elders. We've got... Super kill bonus, juggler, and trickle. I would stay away from this one this week because uh, super kill bonus does not work very well with trickle. If for any reason you wanted to go into it this week, just so you know, the bosses are going to be round one. Kexus the Betrayed with the add-ons of Fallen. That's the Taken, uh, taken Fallen Captain. Round two is the Sididious Mine with the add-ons of Vex. And round three is Norusk, Servant of Oryx, with the add-ons of Cabal. Again, I would stay away from this one this week because Trickle plus Super Kill Bonus, that's not going to work very well for you. Of course, you can always get a free Sterling Treasure Package if you do the level 41 arena. Let's go over uh, to the raid and see what we've got going on here. This week, we've got the Axis Challenge Mode. Essentially, with the Axis Challenge Mode, you have to make sure that every single time Axis teleports, that you slam the empowerment down on the back where there's a little light that comes up on one of the three back plates and it shoots a red light up. You make sure you slam that so you can supercharge all the guardians, give everyone their super backs, um, and then you're good to go on that. So that is the Wrath of the Machine raid this week. That will net you things like an extra roll for weapons, helmets, as well as the ship. The ship is pretty much the big thing that a lot of people are wanting to get this week. So with that, let's go over to the Iron Temple and see see what is going on over there all right we are at tyra karn over here in the iron temple let's take a look and see what she has for us in store this week we've got the memory of Felwinter's artifact where you lose a super but gain one extra grenade and melee charge and small boosts to all stats 
Orbs grant melee and grenade energy. The roll is 195 and 129 on strength. Again, this looks like an artifact that would make you tier 13 or something like that. But remember, the highest you can ever be is tier 10 with this because you lose your super. So essentially, no matter what, you're going to want to make sure that you boost your discipline and strength all the way to uh, basically um, 5 and 5 over when you're talking about your discipline and your strength. So if you need to pick that one up, that is definitely one you can pick up uh, and it's going to be good for you if you're looking to use those especially defender titans and maybe night stalkers with smoke grenades you want to pick up that next up we have the memory of scory when your super is full nearby allies supers recharge faster this is a great artifact to have it's probably the most broken artifact uh to take right now into trials um the roll itself is not very good it has an intellect roll with a maximum of 102 but uh, intellect is actually a lot better than something like strength this is actually not too bad if you think about the artifact being just intellect um but if you do not need it i wouldn't pick it up because we've got memory of perun which has a much better role with in terms of discipline enemy guardians with full supers and all enemies with low health are highlighted this is again a this is a mid-tier artifact i mean i wouldn't really write home about this at all there are a lot better uh artifacts to use but the fact that it has a very nice discipline role this week makes this the one to get so if you need to pick up any of these it's obviously a good week to do that um but I would say Memory of Perun absolutely wins out. Again, be just because Memory of Felwinter is one of those ones where no matter what happens when it drops, it's going to give you a really nice discipline and strength roll. You're going to want to put on uh, tier 10 builds on your discipline and strength for that. So that is the artifacts this week. Nothing amazing. Nothing too crazy to write home about. Something to think about is to go over to Shiro 4 and see what he's got going on for our Vanguard Scout bounties first of all we've got use arc damage to kill fallen complete patrols in the plague lands defeat fallen and complete captain encounters in the archons forge so um, you can definitely do a lot of these things really easily if you're just hopping and bombing around in the plague lands the only one is the complete captain encounters in the archons forge so that's everything you need to know here in the iron temple let's go over to the tower and see what is going on over there Okay, we're here back on Earth, and we are at the tower. Let's give you a rundown on the things that you need to know over here. If you are a Titan, you can definitely go over to the speaker this week, and you can pick up a tier a tier 12 uh, class item for the Sunbreaker. The Sunbreaker's mark has a 25-25 roll on that. Plus, in addition, if you go over to Dead Orbit, uh, the donation this week is Worm Spore. For future work halt, it's Relic Iron, and for for uh, the new monarchy, it is Spirit Bloom. So no spin metal this week, guys. So just to let you know, that is what's going on with those. With Lord Shax, what is the uh, going to be the uh, Crucible bounty this week? It's going to be exercise your skills in the Clash match type. That's going to be great when you go in and you are doing Mayhem Clash. Definitely go pick that up before you go into Mayhem Clash. Let's go over to... Commander Zavala and see what he has in store for us for the available Strike Elite bounties. We've got Earn Gold Tier Achieved, Silver Tier Achieved, or Bronze Tier Achieved medals. That's going to net you a piece of Legendary Armor. Next up, we have the Sunrise Eat Weekly Elite Bounty. Earn a Gold Tier Achieved medal in the Nightfall before time expires. So in other words, take about 30 minutes to get the Nightfall done. That'll net you a Legendary Weapon. Plus, if you have not gotten your Icebreaker yet, this is the one that you are going to pick up. Next up, we have Merciless, which is gain, uh, get nine rapid enemy kills to earn Rampage medals in Siva Krosis Strikes. You can see that you just get primary, secondary, and heavy medals. And I've, I've got my primary and heavy. I just haven't done my secondary medals this week. Again, that'll net you a piece of armor for your character. So guys, that's pretty much everything there is to know in Destiny this week. Uh, the only p tier 12 uh, class item that I could find was the one over by the speaker for the Titan. So hopefully that helps you out if you do need one of those items. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Check out my Twitch live streams where I help people do the raid all the time. I'll definitely be looking to do the raid a bunch this week. Um, especially during the weekend but uh hopefully in the next couple of days we'll be able to get a little bit of time on as well so guys thank you so much for watching if you like something in this video a positive rating would be greatly appreciated hit that subscribe button for more destiny content and guys i'll see you next time
in the universe of Destiny.